Hi children, how are you doing? I'm teacher Sarah and I'm glad to be back. Before we begin, let us pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you for this day. I thank you for the wonderful children who are watching this service today. Lord, I pray that you open up their understanding, that they'll be able to receive your word in Jesus' mighty name. We pray. Amen. All right. I hope everyone is doing good. I'm so glad to be back. And I hope you guys have been singing the songs. They're so catchy. I can't stop singing them. I, when I'm walking, I'm like, prayer is the key. Prayer is the key. I hope you've been singing the songs. You've been dancing along. Yes, I have been doing all that. So last week, Teacher Alice introduced the theme for the month. And she also gave us a theme scripture, which I'm very excited about. I hope you are memorizing it, practicing it. I hope you are. And continue to send in videos of you uh, saying the memory verse and of you uh, saying what you've been learning so far. We can't wait to watch your videos. We love receiving feedback from you. Parents, encourage the kids to watch. Encourage the kids to, to make the videos so that we know that you, they're watching and they're learning. All right. So last week, we were introduced to a new topic, which is very exciting. Very exciting. I want to jump right now. I'm very excited. And the topic is general prayer. Yes, prayer. Last week we learned that prayer is communicating with God. Children, you have best friends at school. And when something happens, you want to go and tell your best friend. You want to tell them what you did during the holidays. You want to tell them who made you upset. You want to tell them who you want to beat. Don't fight, don't fight. But we we have friends, we want to tell uh, things that happen to us. So we want to communicate. The reason we pray is because we build a relationship with God to communicate. Imagine your friend stops talking to you. Your friend stops telling you stories of what happened or what they did and your friend started hanging out with another group. Are you going to consider that person your friend still? Definitely not. Um, when we talk to God, when we communicate with God, we are building a relationship. We are telling God about our lives and God wants to talk to us. He actually does talk to us three different means, three different ways. He talks to us using the word. He actually talks to us in our hearts. He, 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 he talks to us through the Holy Spirit. Yes, so we are building a relationship with God when we communicate the same way you build a relationship with your friends when you communicate, when you talk to them, when you tell them about the, about the sports you've started playing, when you tell them about the new shoe you have, even when you're sick, you want to tell your friend that you're not feeling well, right? So we pray that we build a relationship with God. Another reason we pray is we want to cooperate with God in our life and in our world, okay? So the Lord's prayer starts with our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. So. The first thing we do is we acknowledge God. We acknowledge that God is big, is powerful, and we need him in our lives, right? So we acknowledge him that he is great. The same way when your school tells you to bring school fees, you don't start crying and looking for money. What you do is you go back home and tell mommy and daddy that the school wants their money. Why? Because you know, mommy and daddy are able to pay for your school fees. You know that they have the money. 
and they and they are able to pay. So God, we when when we pray, when we start praying, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. What we are saying is, Lord, you are big. Lord, you are able to do everything. So we need you. We cooperate with God in our life, in our world. When there's a war somewhere going on, you say, God, heal the world. There was coronavirus, the corona, coronavirus going on. We pray, saying, Lord, heal our land. We, what we're doing is we're cooperating with God because God is all powerful. God is all powerful. Yes. So number one, when we pray, we are building a relationship with God. When we pray, we are building a relationship with God. Number two, we are cooperating with God in our life, in our world, in our school, in our families. We are telling God, you are all powerful. We need you. Come do this. Yes? All right. I hope you're following. And number three is related to number two. When we pray, we show that we are dependent on God. When you're hungry, you don't go and buy your own food. You go to the house, and when you find there's no food in the house, you go to mommy and dad and say, I'm hungry, I need food. You depend on your parents for you to eat. You depend on your parents to, to give you what you want, what you need. So when we pray, we are showing our dependency on God. We realize that on our own, we cannot do this. We realize we are not able to sustain ourselves he is ourselves he, ourselves he is our source so we depend on him yeah so the three reasons why we pray is number one we want to build a relationship the same way you build a relationship with your friends by talking and telling them what's been going on what you've been doing God wants to hear everything about your day. He wants to know what you've been doing. He even wants to know when you are sad. If you want to cry, you can go to God and say, Lord, my heart, I'm hurt right now. This one did this to me. You are free to do that. God wants to, to see, wants to talk to you when you're happy. He wants to talk to you when you're sad. He wants to talk to you every time. There's no, there's no specific time to talk to God. You can talk to God anytime, anywhere. Like You are free to talk to God. So we're building a relationship with God when we pray. We are also cooperating with His will. We want His will that is in heaven to come on earth. We want uh, the good life that's in heaven to also be, 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 be made present here on earth. Number three, we also pray to show our dependency on God, we rely on Him. We know He's the giver of our lives, so we depend on Him for everything. We depend on Him for our health. We depend on Him for everything that we are. Bye. 
You might be wondering, uh, what do I pray for? What can I pray for? And there are some things I can't pray for. Uh, we pray just to worship God. You know how when when uh, sometimes you just want to say, thank you, mommy, thank you, daddy, because they have been good. It's the same thing. God is good. God is always, always, always good. To you and I. So sometimes we just want to say, God, because you are good, I am here to just worship you. I'm here to just love you. I don't know about you, but the time I was your age, we would have plain papers, you would draw a love and and write saying I like you or love you like a cup of tea to your friends. Obviously, don't tell God you love him like a cup of tea. <laughs> yeah, so you, you just want to express love to God because he is good. You just want to tell him, Lord, I worship you. Lord, I praise you because you've been good. I praise you because you've kept me healthy. I praise you because you've kept my family healthy. You just want to love him for everything he's done for who he is. You just want to love God. All right. Sometimes we pray when we have need, we pray for a daily provision. In, in the Lord's Prayer, there's a part where we say, give us this day our daily bread. Give us this day our daily provision. When you are in need, when you need anything, when you need something, you go to God and tell him, Lord, I need this. Lord, I need this, I need this. For daily provision, we go to God. We go to God to ask for help. We go to God to ask for direction. If you don't know what to do, you are confused. You don't know what to do. You go to God and say, Lord, I don't know what to do. Tell me what I'm supposed to do. For direction. Lead us not into temptation. You don't want to be led into temptation. So you go to God and say, lead me. Direct me, give me direction, tell me what I'm supposed to do. Tell me how I should live with my friends. Are you following? Are you with me? Okay, I'm really enjoying this session. I hope you are too. We also we also pray when you've done something wrong, okay? When you've, you, you've sinned, when you've, you've, you've made a mistake, you go to God and say, forgive us our trespasses, forgive me my sins. Don't run away. When you sit, tell God, you know what, Lord? Today, I said something I was not supposed to say. Oh, Lord, I did something I was not supposed to do. Please, please forgive me. He forgives us. And when we pray, we direct our prayer to God the Father. So we say, uh, God, who is the Father, because the, the Lord's prayer says, Our Father who art in heaven. We pray to God the Father. And then the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit helps, helps us to pray. Helps us to pray right. And we pray in the name of Jesus. So we are praying, directing our prayers to God the Father with the help of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. So you're praying, Father, give me today's bread in Jesus' name. Okay? So you're saying, you're praying to your Father who is in heaven, and the Holy Spirit is helping you to pray, and you're making the prayer in the name of Jesus. That's how you pray correctly. And you can pray... You can pray using a psalm, you can pray with words, you can even you can even pray pray uh, in a way that you're comfortable. 
you want to sit, sit. You want to stand. You want to walk around. You want to raise your hand. You want to close your eyes. You want to shake it. Feel free. If you, the same way you talk to your friend. Sometimes we're not talking to our friends. We're dancing. God doesn't mind. God doesn't mind. He wants to know you. He loves you very much. You're precious to him. So he wants to know everything about you. He wants he wants you to tell him everything that you want to tell him. And he has so much that he wants to communicate. I hope you've enjoyed today's lesson. I'll repeat some lessons. Prayer helps us to build a relationship with God. Prayer helps us cooperate with God. Prayer shows our dependency on God, and we are free to pray for everything. Pray when we need help, pray when we are sick, pray when we, we are happy, pray because we just want to talk to God. And we pray to the Father with the help of the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. I am very excited to keep sending the videos, give us feedback. We are really, we got to hear from you. Thank you so much.